Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video we're going to be restoring this iPhone 4S on iOS 7.1.1. Shout out to Aiden on Twitter at ASJPalms uh, for sending this in to me. Now I did have an iPhone 4S on iOS 7.0.4, but I did have to update after it failed a jailbreak. Now it actually has iCloud activation on, so I put it in recovery and updated. So it is running iOS 9 and is still able to use it and things, but it's still iCloud locked. Um, but this one isn't iCloud locked and is running iOS 7.1.1, so you get the new animations. So the iOS 7 iPhone 4S will be the last piece of the puzzle for my iPhone 4S's on every version of iOS. Now I also have a iPhone 4's on every version of iOS, which that is iOS 4, 5, 6 and 7. But you can see here taking it out of the box it was shipped in, it's got a smashed back quite badly actually and the front isn't too bad but it does have um, a fair bit of missing glass up at the top there. And you can see here that it powers on you can see that it is running iOS 7.1.1 and it is a 16 gigabyte iPhone 4S. We're gonna be putting parts on it from this iPhone 4S, uh, which is iCloud locked on iOS 6.1.3. I brought it on eBay for a total of $11. So you can see here with this iPhone 4S on 7.1.1 that it continuously turns on even after you turn it off. And that is uh, definitely related to the dock connector. So because we're gonna be swapping this out with uh, another logic board that, that won't be an issue anymore um, because I otherwise I'll have to change the dock connector the LCD and obviously the batteries and all that which is a bit of a pain so what we're gonna go ahead and do is just change the logic board and then we'll get all the good parts from the other phone now the other phone is iCloud locked like I said so it's no use um, and I only paid $11 for it on eBay the screen on the other phone is a little bit more scratched up um, than the one on this phone, but like this one has giant cracks in it, uh, which doesn't look very good uh, in my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that screen. Now I wasn't going to buy a brand new screen because to get a good quality um, iPhone 4 and 4S screen, they retail for around 30 to $40 here in Australia. Now I did buy one of those uh, for my 24 karat gold iPhone 4 because I wanted that thing looking absolutely spectacular. But because this is only an iPhone 4S um, and these things, are quite cheap now to buy anyway. I'm just going to be putting on a screen that I already have. I'm also going to be changing the back because the back glass is completely shattered on this phone um, with one that is broken and is actually I think brand new. So we're going to be going ahead and doing that in this video. So overall it's a very easy process on the iPhone 4 and 4S to remove the logic boards. There's not a whole lot involved. Um, there's a lot of tiny screws and things like that. But um, the iPhone 4s and 4Ss are great phones to work on if you're starting out um, on repairing phones or you just want to uh, mess around with phones because they're cheap. And if you break them, um, you know, they don't cost very much. And they are kind of hard to break. Um, I've never actually broken one and I've pulled heaps and heaps of these apart. You just got to make sure you remove all the screws and everything like that. So there is dedicated um, guides online to do that. So if you need to know, you know, what screws to take out and things like that, this is just an overview of restoring this phone. This isn't a step-by-step -step guide. There's plenty of those online if you are looking um, at actually repairing one of these. Now I've gone ahead and removed the logic board out of the um, iOS 7.1.1 uh, housing that was in. And now I'm going to be doing the same process on this other iPhone 4S, which is iCloud locked, uh, 16 gig on iOS 6.1.3. Uh, I did downgrade it. I think it was on it was on 9.3.5 when I got it, um, but I thought I'd downgrade it just in case um, any vulnerabilities came out in iOS 6.1.3. You can see here, this is uh, all the parts out of the iPhones. You can see how I lay them out and put the screws next to where the screws would come out of, say the battery there. We've got the screws next to the battery, so I know where everything goes when I put everything back together. So now it's just reverse of what we did before. I've swapped the boards over um, to the other phone, so the 7.1.1 is now in where the iCloud locked board was and now I just have to go ahead and screw all that back down. In some cases it's actually cheaper on just swapping a logic board with another phone than it is buying all the parts individually. So when you're fixing up a phone make sure uh, that the cost of the new screen or the new parts don't actually exceed just buying a iCloud locked one or one that's um, not working and then being able to just swap the boards. Um, with buying those phones, you've got to make sure obviously the screens actually work and it's not water damage, otherwise you could end up with um, water damaged screens and broken batteries and things, like, and things like that. If you want to take the safe route, you can always just buy the parts new. Um, but like I said, if you want to cut costs, you can get parts used um, from phones and things like that. And that's where I get some of my parts from. Um, I buy 
like uh, in bulk, like old repair shops, they just shut down or they just stop repairing iPhone 4s and 4s. So they get rid of all their parts and then I'll try and get those and um, then put them to good use in phones and things like that. Now that we've gone ahead and swapped over the logic boards in these two phones, we can go ahead and reinstall the back glass. This is a brand new one with a tempered glass screen protector on it to prevent it from scratches. And we can go ahead and test out the phone in the new housing. You can see here that it's still functional and you can see now it's not on iOS 6 and iCloud locked. It's on iOS 7.1.1. This is also a 16 gigabyte iPhone 4S. The iPhone 4S shipped in 2011 and came with 8, 16, 32 and 64 gigabytes of storage, 512 megabytes of RAM and an Apple A5 processor along with a 3.5 inch LCD. This thing can run anywhere between iOS 5 all the way up to iOS 9. This means I have an iPhone 4S on iOS 5, iOS 6, iOS 7, iOS 8, and iOS 9. Now I have multiple phones on those versions of iOS, but now I have a complete collection of at least one phone on every version of iOS the iPhone 4S can run. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in more restoration videos, go ahead and check out the iPhone restoration playlist. And there's also an iPhone playlist for people who just want to watch iPhone related videos. Also check me out on Twitter at twitter.com slash Hugh Jeffries for behind the scenes stuff, uh, polls and even bits of videos and things that don't actually make it to YouTube videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribed, go and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time another one of my great videos.